What you got on your wrist, man? You know what it is, man. That Frank Muell. Time will tell. <laughs> you know? Drake is no stranger to the finer things in life, whether it's Tuscan leather, Italian cars, or French honey traps. Drake recently stopped by rainy old England to shell down the stage at the O2 on his assassination vacation tour, as well as piss off the grandfather of grime, Wiley. But any diehard Drake and YouTube fans amongst us will know that whilst he was in the UK backstage at his show at the O2, he actually made an appearance on a British YouTuber's channel called The Unknown Vlogs, where Drake was showing off his million dollar outfit. It's priceless, man, you already know. Yeah. <laughs> Might be the first million dollar outfit on, 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 on Cope's channel, so. To be fair, that would have been a two million dollar outfit if he was wearing his paternity suit. A. But no, he was actually rocking a cold Tom Ford turtleneck trouser combo that was looking straight fire. Turtleneck, Tom Ford, like a rack. Two. Oh, two racks. Um, trousers, Tom Ford, a rack. Crocodile, Tom Ford, shoes, 15. But to be honest, when it came to Drake's million dollar outfit, there was pretty much just one item that was doing most of the heavy lifting, and that was the watch. And I was super pleased, because I'm a big watch head. Uh, Richard Mille RM69750. To be fair, whether or not you like Drake's taste in watches, at least he knows how to wear one, unlike Leonardo DiCaprio. But yes, it was the $750,000 RM69 Richard Mill erotic watch that took him over the line. You heard me right, it's an erotic watch, which means that it's got a special mechanism that will show whoever's looking at it a customizable sexy message. Now I know a lot of people are going to be thinking, why the hell would anyone spend £750,000 to essentially wear a copy of Fifty Shades of Grey on their wrist? But let me explain. If you're a complete watch virgin, you probably don't even know who Richard Mill is. And to be honest, if you're completely timepiece illiterate and you think that the pinnacle of watch luxury is buying a Rolex, then you're about to have your little mind blown. Richard Mill is an extremely expensive Swiss watch brand whose patrons include the like of Felipe Massa, Jensen Button, Rafael Nadal, and even Sylvester Stallone. Interestingly, unlike some of the other huge luxury watch brands like Rolex or Audemars Piguet, the likes of whom have been making watches since the late 1800s, but the Richard Mill brand, on the other hand, was only started in 2001 after Richard himself spent several decades working at other watch brands. But since 2001, they've grown their business into one of the biggest and most recognized luxury watch brands in the world. But even since becoming one of the most famous watch brands on earth, they've resisted efforts to be taken over by other big businesses, and they still keep things very small with the staff of of under 150 people and producing less than 5,000 watches a year. Lazy, if you ask me. But I know you don't actually care about the history of Richard Mill. So let's talk about what rappers are wearing them. Well, Richard Mill is a popular brand amongst rap royalty. Well, they've been worn and shouted out by everybody you can name, including the Migos, as well as Pharrell Williams, who wore an amazing RM52 timepiece on his button pressing hand on The Voice. And if you're wondering, it's actually Pharrell's RM52 Richard Mill watch that is my own personal favorite watch in the world. It's a pretty impressive watch, and the entire movement is actually designed to look like a skull encased in the sapphire watch face. Bowling. Even French Montana and Tiger have been spotted shopping for Richard Mill watches with seven figure price tags. Mm. <laughs> it looks like toys. Merry Christmas. And I do really mean it when I say the Richard Mill is a big boy watch. I mean, these things are very expensive. Jay-Z seen here wearing an RM27 watch, which I assume doesn't provide sexy messages, but more apologies for your wife. Also, everyone's favorite little comedian, Kevin Hart, has an impressive selection of Richard Mill watches, which he shows off in this amazing video, which I sadly can't play you because it's got copyrighted music in the background. And of course, you won't be surprised to find out that Floyd Money Mayweather owns several Richard Mill watches amongst what appears to be a collection of dozens of pretty much priceless timepieces. And I swear at this point, Floyd Mayweather's life has just become a human game of Brewster's Millions. And I don't know if he's ever gonna spend all that cash, but he's trying his best. I bought this right here in Dubai. Yo, that one's ridiculous. That was like over a million. That's a one, that's a one on one. So it turns out the idea for the erotic watch is actually very old. As far back as the 17th and 18th centuries, Swiss companies have been producing erotic watches, which featured drawings and sketches of nude women or people having sex. Now, according to engineers at Richard Mill, this watch was actually incredibly complicated to design and create. And this watch actually cost Richard Mill millions of dollars just to bring to the market. That's what makes the watch so special because the idea in itself is simple, but to realize it is actually very, very complicated. It costs millions of francs in investment to make this come true actually. Everything in this watch is fully mechanical and it even features a tourbillon. Traditionally in watchmaking, tourbillons were used as a mechanism in order to improve the timekeeping accuracy of a mechanical watch. Though nowadays, tourbillons tend to be used in the most expensive and luxurious watches in the world just to basically show off 
how amazing their watch engineers are. So that means for 750 grand, no batteries for you. This watch is essentially powered by the movement of the body. As long as you keep your wrist moving at all times, that erotic watch is gonna keep on giving you sexy slogans for days to come. In fact, I've even known some talented people to be able to operate two mechanical erotic watches at the same damn time. That's how the watch keeps time, but let's have a look at how that watch actually delivers you your cringeworthy sexy slogans. Well, the watch actually does this by using three six-sided tubes that are in a row on the top half of the watch. Each side of these tubes has a different phrase on it and all three of them add together to deliver you a sexy slogan. And again, this is an interesting design because the entire mechanics of the actual watch are all located below the nine and three and everything for the erotic panel is above in the top half of the watch. It's actually quite difficult to make. So that sexy Richard Mill watch is gonna set you back a cool $750,000 and is capable of delivering up to 200 custom sexy phrases, which makes it a perfect purchase for any budding R&B singer who wants to come up with hooks for their songs. Hang on, wait a minute. This watch comes up with sexy phrases and Drake's entire career has been built on singing sexy hooks on his songs. Hang on, maybe Meek Mill was right. Are you a moist rapper having trouble making the ladies wet? Well now you can access the finest sexy chat up line Switzerland has to offer. Introducing the new timepiece from Richard Miller and Quentin Miller, the RM69 Ghostwriter Torbjorn. This watch has been responsible for some of the most classic bars in the recent hip hop history, including I only love my bed and my mama, I'm sorry. Kiki, do you love me? Are you ready? And coming soon, the special Sophie Brousseau edition with such classic lines like, you're on birth control, right? Deny your secret love child in style with the Richard Mill RM69, nice. Hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Hit that notification bell so you can see every single time I upload. And if you wanna support the channel more, I would definitely suggest that you check out my Patreon account and also go and cop some merch in the Trap Law store, which you can access by clicking the link down below. Thanks again for watching, really appreciate it. And until next time, peace out.